7 a.m. at Glacier Creek. Whoa, it's cold. And in a bid to catch up, the team begins its first dark to dark shift. Oh, for got to be. But overnight, the pump has failed. Dave, Nate, you got copy. Cuts flooded, guys. Damn it. Lake Sanchez here for you. Come take a swim. It's flooded. I don't know what's wrong. I need to get to my pumps. I need to figure this out and try and start getting this sucked down. Hey, what's going on? She just will not pump. Any bit of pay I had is going underwater again. We'll pull the suction off and say it's all in all do right now. Right, there's something in here. What you got? Uh, how about something in there? Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Holy Nate. Look at that. It's gotta be something between the pump and the engine. It has to be. The only thing I know I'll do now is have to pull it out, Jason. All right, man. Stupid rock. The key component of the water pump is an impeller to draw water into the machine. But overnight, the pump has sucked in a large rock, which has become jammed in the system. Nate hopes that the coupler, the engine's rubber fitting, has done its job and sheared, allowing the motor to keep spinning, saving the pump engine from catastrophic damage. Damn rock, always. Get some more of the sheet metal off so we can kind of get down to the heart of the operation. Oh, be damn, look at there. So you got these splits in this coupler right here. The coupler is completely sheared after saving the motor from the rock jam. You know, it's got a part number on it, and hopefully they will have the part number exactly, and we'll be good to go, but you just never know these days. Well, we got a part. See exactly what we got going on. Hopefully it's the right one. After almost two days with no pump, mechanic Nate returns from town with vital parts. It's the old one. I mean, we, we had parts come in, they're always wrong. I mean, hoping it's the right one. You just never know what someone's gonna send you. Come with the whole shebang. I don't need everything. I just need this piece here in the middle. This piece actually attaches to the engine, and this piece actually attaches to the pump and it's got rubber on it that gives it a flex. Well, as you can see on this one here, it's busted out, and this one here is basically solid. So we'll put that in place. Oh, baby doll, she's right. Good. Oh, that was okay, good. And start putting it together. This is the pump, this is the engine. Basically, this coupler attached them together. This will last a long time, as long as it don't come into another jam. If we're going to plan to hit our goal, we got to get this pump up and going as fast as possible. Give her a couple little love taps, get her just right. I think everybody's, you know, tired, wore out. It's not good for us right now. It's really not. Pain in the ass. It's got to go in there just right. So hopefully this will get us going, get down that good pay we've been trying to get to all season long. So the hardest part's done. We got it stabbed in there with a new coupler on it. Ready to rock and roll. And we're gonna show you what a small crew can do that has a lot of heart and uh, don't mind working. And I really believe it's gonna do us well. Stay ready, fire up! Fire it up, Nate! Turn it on, let's run some water! Some of that good pay! Yes, sir! That down, she's sucking it down. Oh, yeah. That's sort of a good pumping some water now. Woo! Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You know, it feels good getting the pump back in there. The water's dropping down like no other, so I'm ready to get back to that good gold. Every minute, the 150 horsepower pump removes around 4,000 gallons of water from the cottonwood cut. I'm definitely glad to be out of that emergency cut. It was a little bit of pain for the eagle, but this is where we need to be if we're going to have a fighting chance at our goal. In just four hours, Jason is back on the gold. Pump's running. We're uh, moving back in the right direction, Morgan. We're going back deep. Get some head to the plant. Shake and bake, baby. Here we go. Got to get some gold. With the pumps running, dewatering, we can finish strong. It's a good day. Damn good day. You know, the thing I will say, though, is as far as this cottonwood cut, I'm kicking Alaska's ass. The crew is still 80 ounces short of its new 450 ounce season goal. That's the gold way. That's this week? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. To have any hope of hitting the season target, this cleanup must be worth at least 50 ounces. So we got Chris's gold here. You ready to call the guys? Yep. Okay. Hey guys, time for this week's gold way. Come on in. Final gold way with Team Turin. It's, it's hard to leave the guys that you've been through the trenches with for four years, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Dave, Shelley, how's it going? Good. Good. Shelley, Dave. Hi. Good. It's been a tough week. This is difficult, but you know what? We survived it and we pushed through. You know, we're still getting gold. We're at 369.7. That's good. And let's see what the gold way is. We're good. Yeah. Shelly? All right. Ready? I'll be happy with 50. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's what it's always been our goal on the week is 50. Last gold way for Chris. Here we go. Come on. Big money, no whammy. Come on, Chris. 24. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, up. Oh, 28. Oh, 31. Uh, it is 31.3. That's half of what I was hoping for, at well, least. I, I ain't going to cut it, guys. So what's this bring our season total to? 401 ounces, you guys. We've got 49 to go. This week's top gravels gave the crew just over 60% of the gold it needed, piling the pressure on next week's final wave.